Hi again, video creeps. I thought I was done for the day. I was like, Candyman, sure, they'll dig that, and then like, it's cool, I can go and get Hawaiian barbecue. This was a legitimate plan for me. I upload Candyman, and then like, as soon as it goes public, my boy Brad hits me up with the Halloween Kills trailer. So I ha come, like, let's not, are we broken on the inside? We're gonna go look at this thing. And we're gonna go over this thing and break it down and see if maybe we missed anything. Cause we're gonna go all the way in on this trailer. It's Halloween on Video Creep, double shot. All right, so obviously the very first thing that we see is where we end off in the last movie uh, with Michael burning in the house. We see our three lovely ladies getting away and telling them not to resuscitate Michael or fucking care at all. This guy's a huge dumb dumb. Why are you doing it? Gorgeous. Fucking so good. I love the way this movie looks already. Oh, yeah. Ooh! Oh, that threw the fucking glass of the fire. Oh, that's dope. Universal, Miramax, Blumhouse. That's right. The boogeyman was real. It's over. We can't hurt anyone ever again. I don't know. How do you go from it's over to fucking that? Tell me what. Somebody in there? Ooh. Ooh. Damn! Mikey! Stop! You had a knife in your stomach! You and Allison should not have to keep running. Evil dies tonight. Sure does. Who doesn't? There's still Halloween ends. If you track Michael's victim, that's a straight line to Michael's. We're, we're gonna talk about that. What do we do? We fight. Let's hunt him down. Michael Myers is flesh and blood, but a man couldn't have survived that fire. He's not a man. The more he kills, he's evil. The more he transcends. Run! Oh no! He's the essence of evil. Don't do it. You can't do it. Oh. I'm coming for you, Michael. Okay. Okay. So first things first, I'm loving that it takes place exactly where the movie ended last time with Michael burning in that basement. That is super fucking cool. I'm digging the hell out of how this thing looks like the, the fire and then Michael just standing there. Very, very cool. I am curious to see what's gonna happen with Lori now. Is she gonna move in with her daughter and her granddaughter now that her house is burned to shit? We do see her in the hospital for a little bit and I think that's really cool and kind of a little callback. Even though Halloween 2018 is supposed to be a sequel to the original, it's cool to see that this Blumhouse version also is paying homage to coming back for a second serving and there being a hospital setting. I absolutely love that shot of the dude, the firefighter, and he's looking through the glass and then Michael just smashes it. That's probably one of my favorite parts of this trailer so far. Then seeing them in the hospital together, the whole family, them talking about maybe evil is actually gone now. It looks like Judy Greer's character isn't gonna be there the entire time because we do see Lori and her grandmother talking together. Before we get a quick shot of the head detective looking at just the carnage that Michael might, he just lays out all of the firefighters there Wow, wow. We also find the granddaughter's friend who was like killed on the thing from part one on the fence through the thing. That was an awesome callback to what we just saw in 2018. 
kick ass to see that. Clearly when Judy Greer heads back to the house is when the detective finds her after all the firemen are dead and then that's when she's gonna find out. And you can tell cause she's like happy, he's like no one told you. She's like what? What happened? What could it have been? This is definitely gonna be the exact same night. So a comprehensive timeline would be really cool cause so much happens in the first movie already. There's a whole like dance that happens, there's trick or treating, then there's the whole showdown at the house, which I think tells us that this entire movie is gonna take place at night. I don't think we'll see daylight at all unless it sets it up that way for Halloween ends. And just seeing Michael Myers get down to business, he pulls off that fluorescent light and then he just stabs like in the, oh my God, like there's so many cool small elements to this trailer. Something else that's really great is that Michael Myers just looks really cool in this trailer. He's not burned at all, which makes me wonder, is he going to get another mask? He looks relatively okay for a guy that was just in a house that was, even his clothing doesn't seem burned. Does he run into another mechanic to get another jumpsuit and another mask? Like, what is up? It is Halloween. It, I mean, it's accessible, I guess. We know that Laurie Strode is going to get right back out there considering we see her, like, give herself, like, what is that, like an epidural or something? She's like, no, fuck you, pain. We don't have time for that. Michael Myers is, we got to kill him. He sucks. Clearly, this is exactly what's going to happen right after Judy Greer goes back to the hospital to tell her mom what's up. We see a cool little flash that John Carpenter is executive producing on this, which is awesome. This is his initial property, so it's great to see him still giving a fuck and being around for it. Something that I absolutely love and it was something that I loved in the 2018 reboot was that you saw the three kids from season of the witch the little witch the little skull the little pumpkin boy you see them in this trailer and they're just dead now they're dead now in the last movie they were just trick-or-treating happy it was no kind of anything it was a very small scene but man to see them all bloodied on that merry-go-wear oh dude Cool. We also see the return of Laurie Strode's granddaughter's boyfriend, who a lot of us were pissed that he didn't get his in the last movie. Apparently he's gonna play a big role. We even see in this scene right here that they're actually sitting in a car together going after Michael Myers. And then eventually we end up seeing Michael Myers confronting the boyfriend. So who knows if he'll make it out of this one, but he definitely will play a big part in this movie. Something else that was really subtle in this trailer that I think we were able to pick up on, I don't think I'm the only one, is it looks like there's going to be a group of people going after Michael, like Nightmare on Elm Street, let's kill that Freddy Krueger guy style. There seems to be an angry mob, which would make a lot of sense. On this night so far, a lot of people have lost loved ones. So if they're gonna make a big enough stink, I can totally see them going and banding together to try and kill Michael. There is power in numbers. Another sweet little callback that I noticed in this was Michael slapping the glass, kind of like how he did in part 178. It's little things like that that are really charging me up with this trailer. This seems like it's going to be a really well-researched film. So little things like throwing in the season of the witch references or seeing that slapping of the glass. I love it. I'm fucking so charged. Something else, just again talking about Michael, we get this really quick shot of like the lighting hitting his mask. You can see just the street, like I, uh, I'm expecting this mask to be fucking amazing. Just based off the way that they were able to capture this shot here, wow really really digging this again i think that this big climax is going to take place in the hospital because that's where you see a majority of the commotion happening there's even a shot in this thing with a group of people shaking over an ambulance so maybe that's you know what's going on outside of the hospital we also know this because Lori strode seems to go through a clothing change we see her in the regular hospital garbs but then towards the end where she has her knife she's wearing like a nice sleek black scowl and it, like it's just great i am so excited about halloween kills like i can't even i know i just dropped the video and now here you're getting another one but like wow i am just blown away i'm so excited i just feel in my soul that this is what we need but tell me what did you pick up on in this trailer let me know down in the comments below here like the video to help me out and share it out so that way everyone knows that the trailer has fucking dropped. If you want to support my channel, become Patreon. That's always big and helpful. And if this is your first time hanging out here and you want to hang out again, hit the notification bell so that way you know when I'm like hanging out. Then we can be like friends and stuff. Don't you want to be friends? All right, I'm fucking out of here. I got I to gotta go live my life and be happy. Maybe I might even be able to get Hawaiian barbecue still. <laughs> Peace, video creeps. A dream inside another dream 
Thank you all so much I'm grateful to the touch Let me list you off name by name Rebecca Reviews and Kyoko Corey Stewart and Car Woman Larry Sherman and Spooky Butchers, Grindhouse, Lolo, x Runs with Punks and Michael Andrews And Captain Boots Gremnir, Survivor's Guild Flag for he's and Wig Wolf, yo Adrian I'm here singing Thank you I got a lot of thanks for you For being my Patreon Thank you oh, Thank you hey, This is me doing an impression of the cure I'm Robert Smith I'm fucking Robert Smith Can you tell that I'm doing a Robert Smith impression? I hope it doesn't come out as a Bowie impression Yeah, 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 yeah Hey Taco, do you wanna sing something? Say it, lick, 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 you can lick on my